Thank you for the opportunity to share here briefly what Medius Ag can do through our tool Medius.re as it relates to variety trial research within the hemp industry. And take a few minutes to share a demo of what that could look like for you. First thing you can do if you're interested in searching for a particular variety and you want to know more information about it, you type what you know of that variety and go ahead and select it and it will pull up any information that's available in the system about that particular variety. So first things we see here is where this variety has been trialed and the years of data that we have available to us as well as if there's any description that gives me more information about the variety, any kind of image that might be a representation of that variety, and if there is a link to a data sheet or a text sheet, and any attributes or other variety information that might be relevant, whether it's inquiring for the variety or give me some insight into the variety's information. The second tab that you'll see is trials here at the top. And what that'll do is give me a high level view of all the data available for me within the system. So as I'm looking at this, I can scroll down through and see the different values that have been collected. And I can see I have an average here of a particular value. But if I want to find out more detailed information about it, all I have to do is click on that value and it will show me the breakdown of all the values that make up that average. And I continue to scroll down through and see what else has been collected for that particular variety. If there's images that are associated with that variety, clicking on the image tab will, will pull up images. As the system gets used more and more, you will see images begin to fill in and this would be full of images that you have the ability to select. Also, the same thing applies if there are documents. If you have documents associated with a particular variety, they will show up here in the list and then you can select uh, that document and it will pull it up for you so you have the ability to dive into more information about a particular variety. So that's just, okay, we know something about a specific variety, but how do we narrow down a variety selection from a large subset of varieties? So I'm going to jump here into our analytics tool. What I'm looking at is I'm looking at the value for each trial location for the current year that I have selected. Then I'm looking at the current year's average for that variety across all locations. And the last column over here is a multi-year average. So I can go ahead and click on this last column and it's going to be sorting this for me by the best value to the worst value. And um, anything that is in green is considered uh, the maximum value. Anything that is in blue is above average. Anything that is not shaded actually hits the average, the mean, right on the dot. And then anything below that is going to be this shaded uh, version of yellow and orange, and then the minimum is going to be red. So that's great if I'm just trying to sort a variety based on one characteristic, but we're interested in a variety's performance across multiple characteristics. So I can continue to jump down through all the different characteristics that I've selected, and you can see that as I walk through it, my variety list is going to be constantly changing. So how do I understand a variety's performance across all of these different characteristics, across all of these different locations, and across multiple years? If you can imagine trying to do this in Excel, that would be very time consuming. So what we do here in our analytics tool is I can then jump to my total score averages and we use standard deviation to generate z-scores. Those z-scores allow us to do a comparison across all of these data fields, across all of these locations, and across multiple years, and be able to give a variety a specific ranking or a specific score, um, and allows us to do a comparison to see how a variety's performance has been based on the characteristics that we want. So now that I've got my scores generated, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to select um, a few of these varieties here at the top that uh, have multiple years and seem to be good performers. I've got six varieties selected and I'm going to go ahead and we're now going to do a deeper analysis of these. So what I'm doing is I'm jumping over to my comparison view. So now what I can do is I can compare these varieties. I have correlated data turned on. That means that I'm only going to see the data for where all of these varieties existed in the exact same trials. So I'm now looking at all these varieties compared side by side, similar to the view that we saw when you're looking for one particular variety. So I could click on this particular value and see all of the values that make up uh, that value, or I could go ahead and I could click on um, my 
characteristic over here and it would expand that out and show me all of those um, the breakdown side by side of all of these different varieties then you have the ability if you wanted to pass this along to somebody you can generate a link and share that much like any other feature in the tool you can download this data for uh, further analysis um, or you could actually export this as an image if you need to include it in some kind of presentation or in a report Looking at uh, the trials specifically, um, one of the things that you have the ability to do is integrate your data with weather data. And this would be weather data that comes from a research station uh, right on whether it's a research farm or it's on your farm. If you have a weather station nearby, we can integrate with that. Um, and what I'm looking at here by default in this particular case is it starts with my planting date and ends with my harvest date. And then it is showing me my max air temperature here on this gray line. The shaded gray behind it is the three-year average of the max air temperature for that location. And then my red bars down here below are showing me my precipitation values. One last thing I want to show you is just the ability to take that trial uh, data that we were looking at earlier and be able to do some graphical things with it. So I'm going to pull in that trial data that we had before um, that we were looking at and we're going to jump in here to charts and I'm going to say okay I want to have my series be my trial I want my labels to be um, the variety and I want to look at yield and bam there I have now a quick bar chart that will give me all my varieties in that particular trial and uh, show me um, how they compare to others so that's a quick look at a few features that would be available to you uh, to be able to analyze hemp data using medias.re.